Welcome everyone to the final talk the second Halloween special. And in honor of this being the fifth one, we will be telling you five bone chilling stories with horror, betrayal, and poodles? Poodles? Who put poodles on the cue card? Yo, Mason, did you see that? See what? Something just moved over there. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did, right over there. Nah, man, you're joking. Come on, work with me, man. Why'd you stop filming? Because you're not doing it right. What do you mean I'm not doing it right? I'm acting. Yeah, acting like a dope. I'm trying to make a serious horror piece here, like the Blair Witch Project, but you keep messing up my takes. I'm trying to make it seem more real, give it a comedic sense, you know? We tried that last year with the wear poodle, and it didn't work out. So, can you just actually act this time? Okay? Okay. Action. Dude, what is it? You're ruining my artistic vision. You're ruining mine. You know what? I can't work under these conditions. I quit! Fine, quit then. I can replace you. Can't work under these conditions. What is that? What's up with you? Mason? Dude? This isn't funny. That one gave me chills. But in a good way? Our next story will show humanity's true colors. When friendship is tested, tensions build, and aware there better not be a word poodle in this one. Anyway, that's why I don't wash my hands really, you know. Uh, I think, I think that's the most terrifying thing you could have ever told me. You're, you're joking, right? No. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Why? Anyway, you know how I've been talking to Jennifer lately? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not like you talk about it all the time. Well, I was thinking of asking her to hang out. Really? Yeah, tomorrow. I was thinking, um, it, you know, we have math together, so... Yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. No, I mean, I'm I'm nervous, but I, I feel like I could, you know... I mean, it wouldn't be anything, you know, it would just be like to, you know, go to, like, Chuck E. Cheese or something. All right, well, thanks for having me. Um, see how it goes with Jennifer. Um, see you tomorrow. Wait, actually, Uta, I have a gift for you in the garage. Uh, let's go get it before you go. Like a present? <laughs> yeah, like a present. All right. Uta, uh, I have something for you in here. I just need to look for it. All right. Wow, this place is 
pretty impressive. You know, I think Jennifer likes me back. Really? Yeah, I mean, I, just, I feel like we really have a spark, you know? Like, my, my, my golf joke totally worked with her, and that bomb that That is so life. interesting, Uta. Yeah, I mean, it, Oh, is that, um, the, the president that you could... I'm not, like, the biggest tool guy, so, I mean, I think you could make... Maybe you could keep it. Oh, that's okay, Uta. You'll love it. Anyways, can you tell me more about Jennifer? Yeah, uh, I was thinking of uh, calling her Jen, you know, oh, it's a little more casual. I just, I, we can, so we don't need to, uh, uh, we don't need to escalate things right now. Uh, I just You know, to, to, yeah, I told you two months ago that I like Jennifer. And guess who suddenly started liking her? You. And uh, I think the same thing happened with... And somehow, somehow they always start dating you. I mean, what, do, do you hate me? What, why, why do you always have to steal my girl? Not yours. Shut up! I'm talking! What? What? <laughs> what, what, why do they always choose you? Why do they always say yes to you? What is it about you? What, what is it about you? Tell me, what, what is it about you that makes them date you? My charming good looks? <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea, that's a good idea. I'll just take away those charming good looks. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, <laughs> hey Jennifer. You came. I I wanted to show you what I made. Are you ready, Uta? Jennifer's gonna see you. <laughs> Say hi to Uta. No! What was that? Come on, what what was that? I was getting really into them when you had to shoehorn a were poodle in at the end. There better not be a were poodle in the next one where I'm gonna Oh it's a period piece, it's a period piece. I don't think there was the concept of a were poodle back then, so I think we're fine. Let me just get back into character, sorry. <laughs> Our next story will show a monster's worst nightmare. <laughs> and so that's why I never wash my hands. Oh, neither do I. It's the 1700s. <laughs> <laughs> oh. is, is, is that a full moon? Oh, well, I do believe it is. I, I, have, to, I, I, uh, I have to tell you something, Uta. Well, what trouble is you, good man? Uh, I'm a... I'm a Oh. I, so you see, you have to find... Well, uh, can you help me? Yes, find, yes, yes, yes. I do believe me. you should come with me. Okay. Follow me. Uh, you can stay in here for the night. Okay. Okay. All right. Just go in. Uh, I need to go search for a bungee cord to close the door properly. Thank you so much, Uta. Uh, okay, he has to look for a bungee cord. There's a bungee cord in here. Hey, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Get me out! Get me out! Uta! Oh, Uta! 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 Get out here! No! No! Prove who you are! No! I know what you are! No, we won't! Get out of here! I'll burn the whole building down! You monster! You were my friend! Ah. <laughs> This is no, for no, your stop! Own stop! Good. Come on, guys. That one wasn't even the 1700s. I saw a lawnmower in the shed, and Sock was wearing jeans. Just play the next story. Hey, guys, what is up? No, no, I know how this one ends. Cut to the final scene. Really? Really?
I'm gonna eat this dog food so I can become a wear poodle. Okay. We're done here, guys. Uh, happy Halloween, I guess.